guys, Nick Clark here. Welcome to Focus Fitness Training. Today, today we're doing my new video, which is my top home band exercises, the core edition. Uh, now, in this one, I'm going to show you several different exercises uh, that are going to um, hit the core, uh, or not just the core, but the abs and the obliques as well, um, and make them stronger and more defined as well. Now, this video has been a long awaited, but it's been well worth the wait. Now, without further ado, the first exercise we're going to be doing is called Shin Scrapers, and it gets its name because the band is going to be very, very near your shins when you're doing the exercise. Okay, so you get the band down here. <coughs> now make sure you have it around something nice and sturdy, uh, like I say, a banister or something that's going to hold it. Get yourself down on the floor. <sighs> on your back. And then get the tension on the band. Lift the legs up to 90 degree angle. Arms straight as well, and then pulse up off the floor. Push your hips up. You see, the band is going to be near the shins. Okay, like so. <coughs> and that is how you do your shin scrapers. Now, with all these exercises, you can do about, say, two sets of 15 or three sets of 12. Um, like I say, if you're looking for the more sort of toned and defined look. Uh, but like I said, these exercises will um, make you stronger and, and give it that more defined look because you're using a different strength curve, because you're using a band, you're using a different piece of equipment, not just a, a barbell or a dumbbell or a weight plate, uh, yeah, or, or even just your own body weight. You're using a band and that gives a slightly different strength curve. But also, when you're doing your ab training, make sure that you um, sort of your plan of attack should be to do your lower abdominal work first because your legs are going to act as an extra bit of weight. Your legs are going to become heavy um, as you're doing these exercises, um, so it's going to become harder and harder. Uh, and also, lactic acid will build up the more and more reps you accumulate. So, I would say doing your lower abdominal work first is the better plan of attack, uh, and then work your way up as you go. Okay guys, next exercise we've got is called core or banded core marches. Okay, I'm just going to adjust the camera so you can see. Okay. So bring the band up a little bit and get the band around behind you. A bit like as if you're going to do an overhead tricep extension or a cable tricep extension. Okay, and then you push forward, but you keep your arms up straight okay not too bent but up straight and you're going to lean forward All right so you're not going to be sort of standing up straight okay i'm going to lean forward slightly and i'm going to bring my legs up to a 90 degree angle okay so up nice and straight lean forward up 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 more then let down nice and gently okay and that is your banded core marches uh, now banded core marches you may not feel uh, it straight away um, in that exercise but it is a good one to do um, you will tend to find um, that if you've been doing the ab training for quite a bit uh, that you tend to suck in if you tend to suck in your lower half of your, your abdominal area and um, that will help sort of activate your transverse abdominus, which is like your muscle weight belt, which uh, lies underneath the lower abdominals. And that will help stop getting a, dis a distended the sort of lower belly. Um, so obviously when, you, when you're doing your exercises, um, with any of the ab exercises, but especially lower, try and sort of suck them in, keep it nice and tight, and that will help activate the transverse abdominus and help uh, sort of like uh, reducing getting a, a distended sort of lower belly. Okay, um, next one we're going to be doing is called banded walkouts. <clears throat> you bring the band up and you put your arms up straight. You get a bit of tension on the band, so it's all, already going to want to pull me to one side, and then you step away and then go back slightly, but still keep your tension on the band, walk away. But the band is really wanting to pull me that way. Okay, I have to resist it as much as I possibly can. 
it back slightly. Back out. Okay, and then make sure you swap sides, um, but make sure you, or make sure you do both sides evenly. Okay, so that is uh, your banded walkouts, but again, it is obviously two sets of 15 for these exercises, or three sets of 12, or if you're doing it on like say time version, for say 45 to 60 seconds, um, if you're a little bit more restrictive on time. So that is your banded walkouts. Next one we're gonna do with this one is called knockouts. So if you're a bit of a fighter or you do martial arts um, or shadow boxing, uh, then this is gonna be a great one for you. Okay, it's quite explosive. So you get the band, make sure that you twist on your hips on this one as well. Okay, you really wanna be using your reach, okay? Uh, it, out of your arm as well, you don't want to be doing it too square. Okay, you want to be using your shoulder as well, sort of like really sort of reaching out, twisting with the hips and the feet, sort of out explosively, back slow, out explosively, back slow, fast, slow, fast, slow. Okay, really sort of punch out there, like this. Okay. And again, with this one, make sure that you do both sides as well. Okay, um, but like I say, that will help uh, with those obliques. It's going to work on them, uh, especially because you're doing the rotation. Okay, but it's out fast, back nice and slow, out fast, back nice and slow. Try and control it um, and will even hopefully help um, add some speed to your uh, punches. So basically do um, sort of a handful of these then try off some uh, punching and see um, if it actually can sort of um, add some quickness to your punches. Okay, um, so added benefit with that one. Anyway, we're gonna move over here now um, for the other exercises. Now, this exercise I'm gonna show you now, you've mostly seen in uh, one of my other band videos from before, um, it's called corkscrews. Um, it's really gonna sort of hit on the obliques, okay? But what you want to do is you want to get the band sort of underneath your arm, okay, and you want to sort of hold it a bit further up, but supporting it, not actually pulling with it or pulling with your elbow, okay, you want to be pulling with the obliques. So you see, as I go down, crunching with the obliques, you see them firing up on the side there, as I go down, you just see them firing up because I'm crunching down with the obliques. Not using any help from my elbow or my hand, I'm just going down like so. Again with this one, you will have to swap sides and make sure that it's sitting right and then again, we can see that it fires up those obliques as you're going down and slightly across down the side across. Okay, refire them up. Okay. Uh, but make sure obviously that you don't pinch yourself with the band. Um, so if you want to wear a t-shirt or top, uh, that is quite all right. Anyway, the next one um, we're gonna be doing is called, uh, sort of better, or it could be a, a cable crunch or a banded crunch. Okay, so just adjust the camera slightly. Go down to the band. Now get some tension on this one. Now do not put it in front of your face for obvious reasons, because it's dangerous. Put it behind you. <coughs> Remember, get the tension. Now walk forward slightly if you need to, um, to get some extra tension. And then keep your elbows in nice and tight. And crunch down. Okay, but use your abs to crunch down, not pulling with your hands. Come up for full extension with the abs. So you get a nice stretch. And crunch down with those abs, remember. So I say, if you need to walk out slightly to add some more tension, you can do. Or if you want to release the tension a little bit, then walk back slightly and do like so. Okay. And then just remember to come up 
giving a bit of full, full, full extension, shall we say, uh, <coughs> just so that the abs are getting their full range of motion. Okay, anyway guys, that is the Top Home Bands Ab Edition um, video in the books. I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and a like. Um, don't forget to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and here on the YouTube channel for fitness. Make sure you hit that subscribe button in the link below. All the links are going to appear above my head very soon. I will be linking some other videos here as well um, uh, for other band videos and other ad videos that I've done. So if you haven't checked them out, make sure you do. Um, and like I say, don't forget to, to subscribe to the channel. Um, if you think it's going to help a friend or family member out, then get them to subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can follow us every single step of the way when we release new content on this channel. But like I said, guys, I really do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up and a like. If you've got any comments, or that, leave them in the comment section below um, or any requests, and I'll try and get those done and covered in the days, weeks, and months ahead. Um, otherwise, guys, like I said, hope you enjoyed the video. Give it a thumbs up and a like, and I will see you guys very, very soon with my new video. But as always, guys, stay focused.